The Gabemen are out of first place for the first time this season, but look to right the ship against a familiar foe in the Chatham Anglers. Wareham is 2-0 versus Chatham this season, winning both games by a combined 11 runs. And with their ace Joey Matulovic on the bump, it looked like a bounce back was in the cards for the game. Them be aggressive, work quickly and efficiently on the mound. Great batting, a scalding 387, but rips and misses at that one. First strike out of the day for Matulovic on the breaking ball. The sevens are not too bad for him as well. You too. Got him right down Broadway. Not a chance on that one. Greg Jones is retired. 2-2 two -two from Matulovic. Check the swing. Did he go? Yes, he did, says the third base umpire, Ronaldo Cochran. Third strike out of the day for Matulovic to lead things off. Go one, two, swing and a miss. Got him on strikes. The breaking ball working beautifully for Matulovic. Matulovic's 47th pitch of the inning is a strike. He swings right through it, does Colin Simpson. Fifth K of the day. That one brought to you by Langex, Safaris, and Bullard. Matulovic continues to look good here for the Gateman. Gotten Arenas to chase on two different pitches up and out of the zone. Why not a third? Especially on 1-2, he'll be protecting, but looks at a strike on the outside corner. 6-1 of the day for Matulovic. Arenas is retired. Right behind Valenzuela. 2-2, rocketed into left field. That's a base hit. Waving around third, Valenzuela. There's going to be a play at the plate. Throw is off target. Valenzuela scores, and the Gateman strike first. 1-0 on the Lockhart Jr. RBI single. Got him defense near the bottom of the league, though, with 14 errors. 1-1. One, one, got him on the back. A run will score. Fire up the merry-go-round. The white jersey circle the bases. 2-0 Gateman on a mistake by Gavin. Ready for that double play. 1-0. Hard ground ball up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. Scoring easily is Roscom. Skyler Hunter being waved around. And the speedy center fielder is in for a 4-0 Gateman lead. Out in front of the competition early indeed. RBI single for Valenzuela, two for two. The stats just keep looking better for the middle infielder from Cal State Forward. Takes off, hard ground ball, past the glove of a diving Haven Parks. Parker, Packard has trouble with it, and so they're going to send him around first. Took him about a year and a half to pick up the ball out of the dirt, or out of the grass, I should say. That was the first game and run of the day, not how they wanted to have that score. That one skied into right field, going back on it is Fogel. He looks up, and it's gone. Just as I say that, a two-run shot for Brian Packard. Seems like he's gotten something going. The Gateman lead at 7-0, a two-out rally here. As the Gateman push two more across. Here comes a 1-2 to the right fielder. He lifts that one into shallow right field, into foul territory. Lockhart Jr. going over on it, way back. Nice nifty catch at the last second. Lockhart Jr. with a mini web gem, and we've got one away in the field. Once you mentioned it out of Hartford. Sends a 2-1, and Greg Jones hammers that one deep into right field. You can forget about it, a no-doubter. For the Chatham shortstop to chip into this lead. Makes that 7-2. Nathan Florence off to a rough start in his third relief appearance. And he's only played in about 11 or 12 games. And now that one hammered into deep left field off the bat of English. You can say goodbye to that one. Back-to-back -back home runs on back-to-back -back pitches. Two solo shots for the 2-3 guys. And now it's 7-3 game. That one is lifted high into right field, converging on a Lockhart and Idens. Lockhart's got a beat on it, but Idens calls him off, and the game is over. Zach Hart, phenomenal through these last two innings of relief, gave up just a walk, but otherwise retired the top of the Anglers' order in order, and the Gateman walk away victors 7-3. The Gateman secure the win in this one 7-3. Joey Matulovic was masterful once again, going five strong with only one unearned run in six Ks. On the other side of the mound, Hunter Gaddis gave up five runs and five hits in just one inning of work. Sahid Valenzuela and Brian Packard combined for five RBIs as they continue to rake on the offensive side. 
Up next for the game is a crucial home tilt against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks as Wareham looks to reclaim first place.